Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Ice Rebirth Challenges. Glass Cannon. I think you start with Epic Fetus but low HP. Yep, that is. Oh, and uh, Book of Belial. Interesting. Anything else going on here? Loki's Horns. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but that's kind of enticing, isn't it? This is, if I write it down here, Glass C. Anan and our seed, 32 Life Stealers. I can't really think of an acronym for the other ones. So I did some math. Let's see how we do here, by the way. Does it shoot out more bombs when it lands or something? Okay, maybe sometimes it, it'll give us four crosshairs or something. I don't know. Anyway, maybe it just gives us four times as much damage with Loki's horn somehow. I don't know the synergy. What I will say is that um, I did. I ran the numbers, and by my estimation, that was a really stupid play on my part there. Um, in my estimation, we beat 17 out of 20 challenges first try. Oh, lucky me. Um, Suicide Kings killed me. Waka Waka killed me twice, but let's not mention that. And um, we're on glass cannon right now. So I would at least, I'd feel pretty good about my, what? Skeleton key. I'd feel pretty good about myself if I could, uh, if I could beat glass cannon first try. Nick told me it was fairly easy, so I, you know, I'm inclined to believe him. We should probably buy the spirit heart, let's be honest. Um, if we beat Glass Canyon first try, that's 18 out of 20 by my math that we beat first try. 90% of the challenges done on the first try, I feel pretty darn good about. Not that the challenges were exceptionally tough, but that's that's a good measure of consistency right there. So I'd be happy with that. It's not the 100 that I that I looked for, but hey, man, unless you're you're trying to go to a like an Ivy League school exclusively or something like that, 90% is probably good enough, which is the most important metric of all. Now historically. I've actually been pretty good with Epic Fetus. I have had runs where, um, I'm just trying to see if there's any extra money in this. I have had runs where, you know, that we did one challenge run in, in Wrath of the Lamb, where I had to predict an item in order to actually take an item. But the way that it worked is like, if I called the item appropriately, then I could take any item. So I asked for, uh, or I, I got all of them wrong until the mom fight. So I picked up zero items, like zero HP, just straight up base stats. And then on uh, on the mom fight, I predicted the item correctly. So I took Epic Fetus, and that was enough to give the win. So it, it's definitely the kind of item that can win a run by itself if it's as powerful as it was in vanilla. And, you know, as of right now, it seems pretty good. I, I can't... Oh, that's what Loki's Horns does for us sometimes. Sometimes we fire two at once. That can be problematic, but... As of right now, I don't uh, consider it too much of an issue. So yeah, I, I don't think that this is going to be an enormous uh, problem. And if anything, oh, <laughs> Loki's horns actually has a sweet synergy with that. If anything, I think this one might be uh, a little bit on the easy side. I don't necessarily want to get uh, too ahead of myself, you know, get get too cocky, but especially if we manage to pick up something great in a deal with the devil or something like that. By the way, a lot of people uh, they're going to take issue with the fact that I use. The keyboard for Epic Fetus. My response to them is... Oh, we have Curse of the Blind. Okay. My response to them is that it doesn't matter at all. If you use the, if you like the keyboard for it, fine. If you like the mouse for it, fine. Why did I take Guppy's Hairball? Well, I didn't know it was Guppy's Hairball. But even getting this, I'm not that mad. Maybe we can become Guppy. Our HP is totally fine. You know, obviously could be better, but... Uh, we shouldn't run into too many troubles anytime soon. Oh, careful with stuff like that. That's the only thing that worries me is that Loki's horn's gonna, you know, do some dirty damage to me. Let's see if we can pick up anything extra special here. Liberty Cap is at least something worth taking. Range up is totally fine, but probably worthless. Not damaging though, which is the most important thing. Uh, that's that's damaging though. And 15 cents for a mystery item? Sure, more trinket room. That is acceptable, I think. That could have been bad. Now, what we do have to do is... And I'm, I'm guilty of this already. Don't get too cocky. You know... You think you're hot shit just because you got epic fetus. You could easily end up hurting yourself, and then you walk into a tough room and, and shit goes wrong, right? So we're gonna just be... Well, first off, I'd like to stop swearing so much. That's a... Not that it's, uh, you know, this is supposed to be PG-13 or anything like that, but, uh, you know, I would not like to be a little bit more, uh, user-friendly. Sometimes I get messages, people are like, I'm watching these videos with my kids, and I'm like, damn, dog, that's up to you. But, at the same time, 
I hope they're young enough that they don't understand the bullshit that's coming out of my mouth, because I would hate to have a part in corrupting this this nation's youth. Um, plus, I just, I don't know, I find it kind of less artful. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna, we're on a boss trap room. We didn't get very much out of this, but why not uh, drop Book of Belial? At least we know that Book of Belial and Epic Fetus work together, right? Like, it's actually allowing us to do a lot more damage. I really thought that would get both. Oh well. Easy fight? Uh, sure, safety cap. Don't mind it. Let's move along here. We got the chariot. The chariot's pretty okay. We got basically two orbitals here. More than enough money to get whatever we want from our next shop. Low on HP, but that's okay. I am gonna, I would love to get nine lives and like become guppy, but really what I'd be looking for from my ideal deal with the devil is something like Abaddon. I'll take it. Hey, We know that we're not gonna get uh, like HP downgrades. Because we only have one HP. We could get bad trip, which would be almost as bad, but whatever. You know, that's the that's the price you pay when you're taking pills. Some of them could give you free HP, some of them will take it away. I think we can get all these guys. If we hurry. Ooh, okay. Perfect timing. It's almost as if this game has been like QA tested or something like that. Who would have thought? Just to make sure this is actually plausible. I wonder if a tiers upgrade makes it show so we fire uh faster? I'm not sure. I didn't know that that worked, by the way. Like, we could blow open that, like, rubble hole. Seriously? Come on, Epic Fetus. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. There we go, finally. Let's see if maybe we can get our way into our shop. Definitely want to save keys, because we only have 99 of them. That's the Gretzky number. Things can go terribly wrong there. Inside of our shop, uh, black candle. I think I would be stupid not to get it, honestly. It makes us immune to curses. And this is a speed upgrade, right? Yeah. Makes us immune to curses, which is uh, good enough for me. You know, I don't want to have to deal with the curse of the unknown in the late game. That could be one of the few things that could end up sinking us right here. I don't want to have to deal with the, uh, you know, curse of blindness on a, a clutch deal with the devil or something like that. We'll just leave. Hanged Man is okay. Chariot's probably a little bit better for our purposes. We might as well go. I'll go back for it. That's a lazy play. What that? That's bravado right there. And I don't like that. I like you act like you've been there before, you know? See if we can find our second secret room as well. Okie dokie. There's our bad trip pill. At least we know about it now. And knowing is half the battle. At least that's what people smarter than myself have said on occasion. That was one of the few rooms that was basically like completely antithetical to the way that we've been rolling. Like we, uh, we're not in a great position on that room. Are you serious? I'm going to end up using the chariot against this guy, aren't I? Or like my bandages. Oh my god. We got to like predict this so far in advance. Oh my god. Thank you, bandages. I appreciate it. This is a little bit problematic. I mean, the run's called Glass Cannon. I feel like I'd be cheating the system if I didn't, you know, lower my HP as much as is humanly possible. There's our second secret room. And we got an Eternal Heart. I'll pick it up. I mean, all of our HP thus far has come from Eternal Hearts, if I remember correctly. At least two of it has. Assuming we actually managed to make this one last till the end. Mega Maw. P2B Energy Quizzles. I gotta say, that's one of the few impressions I do that I'm actually proud of. Because it's good. It's not like, I can't get up on stage at like a comedy club and be like, Hey, do you want to hear my impression of Dr. Light and Mega Man 8? We're fine, Dr. Wowie. The, the crowd would be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Get Jeff Dunham up here. Alright, well we have two guppy items now. You know what? Let's go full guppy for now. We're going to get a red heart back in a second anyway. Um... Gives us more spirit hearts. Pandora's box uh, gave us one item, but it's a good item. And we get Book of Belial. I'm going to use it once more. Yeah, it keeps our eternal heart alive. I kind of like this. So now we're very, very close to becoming Guppy. Close enough that I actually want to explore the rest of the floor. Just to see if there is a, uh, a curse room, because I would love to go to it. Now, I don't know how deep we actually have to go on this run. If we only have to go to Mom, it's over already. If we, uh, if we have to go to Mom's heart... Probably borderline over already. If we have to go to Isaac, I don't want to get too cocky, but we're still looking pretty good. 
Maybe wouldn't have gotten so deep on the guppy items. But now, basically, if we get nine lives, we'll be glad we did. And if we get uh, another guppy item, then it won't matter, because our flies will do, like, two explosions worth of damage, which is just redonkulous. That was Pandora's box working out pretty nicely for us. It happens from time to time. Let's do some exploration here. You know what? Let's use the chariot card. There we go. Now we've got it out of our, our system. We can uh, bomb this over here. Maybe get a Joker card. Just thinking, like, we'll open this. Oh, it's a so freaking guppy item. Guppy, I love you. And we'll teleport away. And we're going to fight Krampus. Sure, dog. Give me, like, Krampus' head or something. I don't know if Lump of Coal will do shit for us. Yeah, there's Krampus' head. All right. I would say that we're pretty much set for life. This is stupidly powerful. Like, actually dumb. <laughs> Keep in mind, uh, this is called a challenge run, for those of you at home. This is challenging. We have Epic Fetus. Starting HP. Krampus' head. We're guppy. We just bought the battery. We can get, like, two Krampus' head charges for a boss fight. Or for any fight, for that matter. Uh, and basically, that puts us in a position where... I don't know any boss that could stand up to, like, two hits from us at this point. I don't know any boss that would want to. Like, you're just... It's a recipe for your own failure there. I'm pretty sure that we can just steamroll the rest of this game and run into basically no problems at all. I'm using Krampus' head as often as possible just because it's slightly faster to use Krampus' head than it is to wait for a bomb to fall. Uh... Loki's horns did a weird thing there, but that's okay. Man, it's remarkable how much better that is than Shoop the Wolf. 48 hour energy. Don't mind if I do. Appear to be 48 hour energy crystals. Oh, let's not, like, take that to the exact point of absurdity. Uh, amnesia, whatever. Samson's lock. I don't really care. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying what we've got going on here. Ah, uh, that's real bad for you. We'll take pentagram. I think that's going to help us out a little bit. And right, we've already been in here. I remember now. Well, this is uh, this is set in stone. This is going to be a win. Even if we have to go all the way to the chest, I, I don't fathom this one ending anytime soon. I'll take it, honestly. Little Chubby's okay, and we're in no position to be concerned about this taking a while, you know? Like, it'll take us another 15 seconds to actually get through this as a result of picking up Little Chubby, which will help do a little extra damage on, uh, on boss fights, although I'm not going to be aiming it uh, that frequently in all likelihood. So we're going up to the upper right here. And we can fly, so I'm not concerned. And uh, in a moment here, we'll have Guppy or Krampus' head ready. Big difference between Krampus' head and Guppy's head here. Okay. More free items is always good if we can get them. More spirit hearts, even. Or flies. Or pills. Okay. Bad trip. Mm. Well, Hematomesis is just free HP, but we'll leave. We'll leave. Now, I should be good enough to just finish the job here. Yeah, I mean, you've, you'll forgive me for being a little bit cocky now. This is all luck, like to some extent at least. We, I guess we had to have some skill in order to actually uh, you know, ensure that we get those deals with the devil somewhat. But um, let's be honest, we, we pretty much owe RN Jesus for this run right here. So I can't uh, take too much credit, but I am excited that it's looking like that 90% prediction is probably going to come true. I don't really see a desire to buy a sharp plug, really, at this point. Not because it's necessarily bad, but because I don't understand it, and when I don't understand things, that intimidates me, and I just want to uh, ignore them in the future. 99 keys, that's good. We were already at 99, but it's always nice to be at 99 plus 1, you know? Even though we can't do that. Lover's card? Ah, uh, we got breakfast. Now, I mean, the lover's card is basically exactly the same as uh, my bad trip pill at this point. So I don't know which one I'd prefer. I can't believe we're not done with this yet. Probably because I keep making fucking turrets by blowing up the skulls. Oh, no, there's this guy up here. Alright. This is... not mom. It's war. What is it good for? Quite literally absolutely nothing, but hey, there's a second level bandage goyle. Maybe we could get to a third level one if we get super lucky. I don't know if there's achievements in that for us. Um, I would like there to be. I still have not yet... that was really bad. I still have not yet made a, a third level bandage girl or meat boy. 
It's a mark of personal shame for me. That is really bad damage. Okay. This is where your cockiness has reached the point where it's getting a little bit deleterious for you. For, for, for you. All you gotta do is just rein that shit in. So that you can do better here. Oh man, Guppy's tail! We have 99 keys! That's really good for us. And it seems like it was basically preordained that we would become Guppy on this run. So allow me to take back that comment that like there was a little bit of skill involved. Because clearly, the game has decided that we're becoming Guppy whether we want to or not. So... You know, who am I to argue with our deterministic universe here, right? It was preordained at the uh, time of the Big Bang that I would become Guppy on this run. And own ass. And here we are. I could fight Mom right away. I want to fight Mom right away. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it would be irresponsible. It's much more responsible to actually go through and get our shop item here and then go back and fight Mom. Unfortunately. Well, I mean, I was gonna say we could actually not fight Greed. We could just use, well, we have to fight him. We could use Krampus's head to kill him right away, but why not have two Krampus's head charges ready for Mom? Hey, that's actually pretty useful. Two Krampus' head charges on Mom might put us in a position where we can just win. Like, right away. Now, we do have to go to at least Mom's heart, maybe even further, to, to win this run for real. Yeah, why not, right? We got Dark Bomb or something, that'd be useful. Did I leave behind a card? No, we have, um... We have another one just adjacent to the boss room. I remember. I remember. Okay, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I don't think we need all these hematomesis pills, but... Yeah, let's let's take an honest stock of our run right now. It's so good, but we are a little low on HP. And that, combined with your hubris, is pretty much the only way this run ends without you being successful, I think. You being me, of course. Um, we'll take our Polaroid. We will check out our deal with the devil first. I, I'm not going to take any of them. i got to be a little bit less brazen. Even though there could be a use for taking some of them. So we'll take Dark Bum. And this is going to be the rare challenge. Where I think we're actually going to do our boss rush room. Because if it wasn't powerful enough. Let's get Epic Fetus. Uh, be Guppy. And get Dark Bum. You got a problem? Now if I could actually just go back and use these Hematomesis pills. We'd be in a better position. But whatever. Um... I thought of, if, if I could take an item from that situation, I don't know what I would take. Because I was like, shovel? No. <laughs> Maybe we could finish the run a little faster, I guess. But, um, you know, we, we don't need to. Um, what else was available there? By the way, I'm not taking Dark Bum to be an asshole. I'm taking it because I think it's going to give us a much better chance of winning. We would probably win anyway. But this kind of cements it, assuming we can get out of this fight at least. Um... But, uh, and then what else was there? There was Satanic Bible, then there was the Pact. And I was like, well, the Pact is more damage and gives you some Spirit Hearts. But if I'd known that Dark Bum was going to be in our boss rush room, I probably would have taken the Pact. So if, if, it, if that's available when we get back there, maybe I'll, I'll go through with it. But um, I don't think it's that important either way. Satanic Bible I didn't want to take because it would, uh, it would cramp my style by making me get rid of Krampus' head. Now this I expect to be pretty darn easy. Uh, Dark Bomb has already given me so many Spirit Hearts. If Dark Bomb didn't even follow us and just gave us Spirit Hearts on one room only, I would probably still be happy with my decision because he's given me, like, uh, at least three or four. And that'll continue. If you get Dark Bomb on this room, man, he, uh, he can turn these useless Red Hearts into something much more useful. No question about that. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Every one and a half Spirit Hearts, you're my best friend in this whole world. What is that we have? Oh, Monstro, Monstro 1 is still here. I had no idea. So this is Chubb. And when you get Chubb, you also get a Gertie attached to it. But we're getting... Ooh, that was bad damage. We're getting pretty close to our end here. And then we'll uh, move on to the rest of the game. Where I really, at this point, you know, I think it would be kind of ridiculous to assume that we're going to end up having any problems whatsoever. It might be a little overconfident to suggest that, but come on. We're at the HP cap. Dark Bum is just, like, scouring the land for even more HP. And he's not having too much of a hard time getting it. Thank God we actually hit something there. This has actually been kind of tough to hit these guys. Kind of wish I didn't use Krampus' head on the first enemies that got in my way. Thank you. 
Turns out I probably would have rather fought Gertie Jr. considering he would die in one hit. Oh, that was bad damage, but we're back to full HP. I think after these guys, we maybe go through with it. Like we maybe get our um, our horsemen starting. No, we still got bloat and mask of infamy. I think that's it though. Where is the heart? I think I hit it. It's hard to tell because it was off the screen, but. Well, definitely got him that time. Thank you, Dark Bomb. All right, let's do this shit. It's over, basically. Little annoying that it takes so long. But was it worth it for one of the best items in the game? I would say you'd probably agree that the answer is yes. I'd like to get death uh, dead to the point where he's not creating sights before anything else on this one, but whatever. Full HP. And we took care of the uh, the horse, which is actually the most annoying. War's just gonna be chilling back here somewhere. Man, we have so much HP that there's actually just like nothing to do. It's a shame. I wish I could donate it to like a demon judgment or something here. It's worth noting though, we are gonna get one more item after we finish this. I don't even know what it could be at this point, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. It could make our run even more uh, ridiculous. And our last fight. That was really bad. Um, but it's the Fallen. No big deal. And Headless Horseman. Very much no big deal. One more hit should do it. We're done. We got the poop! You gave me the poop for that! I think that's a little bit of a slap in the face. That's okay though, game. I can appreciate you maybe feeling a little bit ornery. Oh, Northern Lion's kicking the shit out of me. You goddamn right I am. Thanks to... The benevolence of RN Jesus. Really, really nice Jesus. Forgot that Bandage Girl actually shoots uh, charm tears. Doesn't really matter, because as soon as we fire, um, all enemies on the room die. But on. Um, oh, that was really not good. On bosses, that could. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, okay? On bosses, that could be meaningful. A little bit. Not a lot, probably. All right, bum friend. Oh, this is your time to shine, bum friend. Give me back to the HP cap after I was an idiot. And this lover's card is like one free spirit heart whenever we choose to take it. Fly's doing a lot of damage. Bomb's doing a lot of damage. It's nice to know that, um, well, at least with Book of Belial, it synergizes. So I'm assuming that Epic Feet is just synergizes with damage upgrades as well. It's not the kind of thing that's likely to be very relevant, just because Epic Fetus is already so good in and of itself, but it's nice to know for, for commentary in the distant future if this item ever shows up again. Certainly this is um, one of the easier challenges though. Should be using Krampus's head, but at the same time it's hard to justify using it when you know for a fact you're just gonna like destroy every enemy you come across. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That could have re-rolled our entire run and ruined it. I know you can't have it both ways. If you're shouting, do it, do it, do it, then you can't be one of those people, and maybe you're not, but you can't be one of those people who if I'm having a tough time on a challenge, is like, don't do it. You gotta cut it both ways, mister. Or it cuts both ways is what I mean to say. Did you see the fucking, uh, the amount of flies streaming out of my orifices there? That was great. Not in real life, that would be terrifying, but for a brief moment, that was beautiful. Obviously, this was pretty easy. We get a speed upgrade. No deal with the devil. Might as well shoot these just to see if there's any uh, useful items contained therein. Umbilical cord? No, thank you. Excuse me, Teratomo? You're gonna lick your booty hole right in front of my face? I think these cats have no respect, honestly. I don't even think they know what respect is. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I don't think they even speak English. I talk to them and they never reply. I think they're they're either in a bad mood or maybe I've grossly overstated their intelligence. It's weird how moving with Loki's horns causes you to like change the like trajectory of your bombs. It's very strange. Yeah. I'm a big fan of how this room went down. I also love by the way that when you use Krampus's head, that still gives you um flies. Like it gives you the most flies. So that allows me to generate 
a, an enormous fly army. Because they get... Uh, I know that's pretty good, but I just don't care at this point. Um, that's how I'm going to be bringing flies into the boss fight. In fact, now that I think about it... No, nah, I was going to say it might be worth it to use Krampus' head before the boss fight to get a fly army. But we should just use it on the boss fight. Because then we get the fly army and the benefit of the damage. But, like, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Should have easily done that without taking damage. But we're moving down to Satan, I guess. You got a spirit on? No? Okay. Uh, even though I took the Polaroid, we're moving down to Satan. I think I took the Polaroid anyway. So I'm assuming that this run is going to end when we uh, when we beat Shoal. Or maybe we do have to beat the, the Dark Room. Either way, I am not super concerned. What this does mean, though, the, the revelation that... Um, you know, we generate a sweet fly army whenever I use uh, Krampus's head. What it means is that I should be using Krampus's head every time it's available. If for no other reason than it gives us uh, proportional increases in damage on the rooms that precede the boss fights. You know? Like, it, it gives us damage on every room. Because we generate so many flies as a result. So, you know, if we, if we don't use Krampus's head, we're costing ourselves more than you might originally think. Maybe. Maybe I'm an idiot, though. Maybe I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I mean, everybody talks about dreams, John Lennon, you know? I don't think you're the only person who dreams. Jeez, D-A-E dream? Yes, yes, A-E dream. Now, in hindsight, maybe shouldn't have used Krampus' head right there. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's use the lover's card. You got me here, dark bum. Two? Oh, you're too good to me. You really are. Come at me. Come at me. Nice. So we're, we should have no problems whatsoever here. Um, we, we should be set for fudging life. The only issue is that it is going to be a little tricky to hit the feet. Occasionally. There we go, we actually managed to land one. And we're almost done here. I actually welcome the dark room, bring it on. That should do it right there. There's our trophy, that was a very easy one. We got uh, the rules card, but in any case, we got two challenges left now. We did 18 out of 20 on the first try, I feel pretty good about that. We got Waka Waka and Suicide King. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a lot, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.